Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic morning. I hope that you got a wonderful night's sleep. Today is a glorious, fantastic, beautiful day that the Most High has created. And as I always say, no matter what you are going through in life, as long as you keep your eyes, heart, mind, and focused on the Most High, He will guide your path straight. No matter what you're going through, just remember you are blessed. You're blessed because you opened your eyes today. No matter what you're going through in your life, remember that this life that you're living is a storybook. This is the storybook of your life, right? This is the storybook of your life and eventually this chapter is going to close and a brand new one will begin. Just keep your eyes, heart, mind, focused on Christ and he will always guide your path straight he will guide you through the storm remember he doesn't say that he will remove the storm but he says he will guide us through it filling our hearts with joy and peace and love and it will be amazing I promise you guys it's not just uh, smoke and mirrors it is true he will guide you and lead your path straight you got to stay focused on him. I know that it's difficult. Get yourself into a group. Get yourself a community. You need people to help build you up. Iron sharpens iron. You need people to remind you to stay focused on Christ. I'm sorry that went on a little long. That's not the point to this video. This is the word of the day. If you have not spent time with the Lord, connecting with him, growing with him, and just building your relationship with him, let's do it together right now. Now this verse uh, these three verses, specifically verse 33, this is coming out of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 33, but I'm going to read 31 through 33 because that's what the study note is associated to. But this specific verse, verse 33, is associated with a book that I'm currently reading called Love and Respect. I hope you guys are checking it out with me. It is a book that is based off of scientific and biblical research to help you grow your marriage, to help you um be more successful in your marriage to help you and your wife or you and your husband um, <clears throat> understand each other so that you can have that passionate relationship but always remember that your relationship will not thrive unless you have Christ in the center of it that's the most important thing but anyways I'm rambling on let's go ahead and get to this word here soon I will be talking more about the book that I am reading love and respect let's go ahead and jump in this one says it's coming out of Ephesians like I said chapter 5 verses uh, 30 through I'm sorry 31 through 33 and it says for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and the two will become one flesh this is a profound mystery but I am talking about Christ and the church However, each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. Now let's jump on down to the study note, which says this, the union of husband and wife merges two persons in such a way that there isn't much that can affect one without also affecting the other. You become one flesh. Uh, oneness in marriage does not mean losing your personality in the person... Yeah, losing your personality in the personality of the other. Instead, it means caring for your spouse as you care for yourself, learning to anticipate his or her needs and helping the other person become all he or she can be. The creation story tells of God's plan that husband and wife should be one. And Jesus also referred to this plan in Matthew chapter 19 verses 4 through 6. Now I don't want to dive too much into uh, this verse in relation to the book Love and Respect, but I do want to point out um, verse 33 where it says, however, each one you each one of you, uh, let, me, uh, let me start over. Each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. If you haven't gathered already, it's from the book, like I said, Love and Respect, and that verse is heavy in the first chapter, and it talks about how men require more respect from their wives. They require their wives to respect them, whereas women require uh, more of a loving 
nature from their husband. They require more love from their husband. And it's a circle. If the wife is not giving the husband the respect he needs, then he will not um, provide the love that she needs. And if he is not getting the I'm sorry, if she's not getting the love that she needs, then she's not going to provide the respect that he needs. So it is a cycle. It's a circle. We are going to talk more about it as I work through this book, Love and Respect, taking some notes. Uh, that's for a different video. I'm sorry, my voice is getting dry right now, so I got to wrap this up. But I hope you guys got something from this. I hope, uh, I hope it, it touched your heart. I hope the Lord is speaking to you. Let's go ahead and end this video with a quick prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we pray in Jesus' mighty and gracious, wonderful name, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to please be centered in our marriages. Please help us to know, love, and serve you and live our marriages. Live our marriages with you at the center so that we can grow in our marriages, so we can honor you through our marriages, so we can glorify your kingdom through our marriages, so we can raise our children and teach them how to be respectful, loving, uh, men and women of God. Lord, we ask that you please help us to understand your teachings from your word. Help us as husbands to show our wives the love that they need and help our wives, Lord, to show us men the respect that we need. Help us, lead us, teach us, and guide us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your blessings and your teachings and your mighty, glory, wonderful name. We thank you for your beautiful son, Jesus, who came to this earth and saved us, Lord. Saved us from our sin, who hung on a cross and bled and died for our sins so that we, those who believe in him, could be made right with God in heaven through him, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice. It is in Jesus' mighty and gracious name we pray. Amen. You guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, glorious, blessed day today. Remember, you opened your eyes today. You've already accomplished so much just by doing that. Today is a glorious, blessed, and wonderful day. God bless. Go in peace.